Mum, what am I up to today? Let me show you first of all. I, I don't know why I feel the need to show you this, but I'm, I'm pretty excited about this. It's going to make my jacket a lot better. I don't know if you remember Dan buying me this, this sort of a cloak thing. Anyway, I've moved the buttons from there to there. I've obviously got to do this one. And that'll make it a bit tighter and smaller because it was a bit big. But anyway, let me have a chat with you quick. I wanted to say a big, big thank you to you all. You've all been so supportive of all your lovely messages and um, oh, it was just lovely getting everything off me chest and everybody being so, so lovely. I'm sorry if I haven't gotten round to replying to them all. I am going to try my best. I've just been a bit busy yesterday. And um, yeah, I just got this lovely, a lovely message off my twin sister. She's going to be really embarrassed now. Anyway, she sent me this and she's been minging to send me this. Sorry, that's the Jackery. Um, I honestly just hate saying this, but you look so much different on your video last night. You looked healthier, brighter and talking so much better. And back to yourself, basically back to myself. And I do always have a lot of speech problems anyway. And obviously the alcohol... Um, doesn't help. So that was really sweet. Thank you, Shani, because I appreciate that. And I think I've seen the difference myself. And I am feeling wonderful. So just giving up the alcohol and um, eating healthy again. I'm on my way. I'm, I'm up this ladder and I just can't wait to get to the top again and just feel amazing. <laughs> so quick update on the alcohol situation. Oh, I don't know where to put you because the light in here is terrible. Um, it's been nine days today. So, uh, uh, let me go into this. Um, since I met Dan, we've been together four years. It was always slowly progressing, getting to, you know, drinking a lot, drinking a lot, and then it come to the first lockdown. That's when then the big problem started. But, and I tried to give up once, and it was at Christmas time just gone, and I got to annoying days, and that's the most I've ever not had a drink in four years. I, I, I got to nine days, I was proud of myself. Anyway, today is my ninth day, and it's, I know I'm gonna beat this, and out, outdo myself, basically. Uh, what am I trying to say here? Anyway, I'm really proud of myself, because today is my ninth day, and I know I'm gonna outdo that, so I'm so, so proud of myself. For the first time in four years, this would have been the longest I've given up alcohol. But as for the healthy eating, I'm still at it. I'll show you what I'm having for tea later. <laughs> it's the same old boring stuff, but um, I'll show you that bit later anyway. Anyway, I'm going to crack on and finish this cloak and show you how it fits. <laughs> We're having a really busy day today. We're sorting stuff out in the van today. We're expecting parcels, etc. Um, yeah, just doing a lot of sorting out. Here's my man. Not gonna say hello. Sorry about the lighting, it's absolutely terrible. I'm now just sewing my last button on. Anyway, I'm feeling so positive and happy again. It's unreal. I can't wait to get to Scotland. And yeah, I just I just feel like I'm buzzing, but I just can't believe all the support I've had from you all, and I do appreciate it and all your lovely little stories too. But like I said, I will try my hardest to try and get get to replying back at the moment we're just being a bit busy I'm so sorry about the jackery noise let me turn some lights on i don't really know why it's so dark so i'm just gonna try this on now i haven't tried it on yet <laughs> right so i'm gonna show you exactly where it was to start with to start with was that the first one yeah to start with it was there the, f the button if you as you can see I've moved it there and it was quite loose up here now let's get it on properly let me just get in the mirror I do love this uh, yes oh let me fix my hood I'm not sure that's a good idea. It all seems twisted now. Oh no! What have I done? Oh no. No. 
I think I'm gonna have to move the button back here a little bit more. I don't know why now, it looks all twisted. <laughs> oh, I ruined it. <laughs> I don't know, could I get away with it? Could I get away with it? It looks all right. I don't know. <laughs> oh. Taking you into the boudoir. Yes, it looks a mess. No, this is stuff we're sorting out. So I'll just turn around and show you what we're leaving. So I've got a few jackets there, free jackets. I've got a bag of like summer dresses, summer pajamas and shorts and stuff like that. All this is going in the loft. I don't know why he's keeping that. <laughs> but anyway, this is all dirty washing. That's dirty washing. And we're putting all my lovely dresses in storage too. Ah. So we've had a bit, bit of a busy day. Just spoken to Danny for his opinion on this. So if you can see, it naturally falls like this. So he's saying the bu bottom button is the problem. It needs to just come over to there a tiny bit. But still, I still think the top one's a bit, you know, it's too far over there now, but yeah, I'll do that. I'll have to do that again. Oh. I can't stop laughing. This job is taking me all day. Right, so what Dan said about the middle button is move it back in again, but down a bit. So I've done that, right? I've left this one for now. I'm going to deal with that. Now look, it doesn't meet the buttonhole. There's the buttonhole there. So now it's too low for the button hole. <laughs> I'm gonna get this right. But actually now looking at it then, the, the yeah, the bottom one needs to come in a bit as well, doesn't it? Not down. <laughs> I know I'm back to the cloak again, but I think I fixed it. It falls naturally now, a little bit better, and it's all been pulled in a bit. Right. Been a busy, busy, busy day. We've done an awful lot of tidying and sorting out today, so that's been brilliant. So I'm just about to make my tea, but I am preparing it for later on. I think that's cooked, actually. It's starting to smoke. What I'm going to be having, look, it's burnt me pan, halloumi in a wrap, a salad, guacamole, and a bit of ham. I know it's nothing new, but I've got leftovers. I'm not wasting food, so that's what I'm having today. Absolutely knackered. I haven't stopped today. Com Look at me. I'm a right mess as well. Um, washing. I've got so much washing done today. I've still got a lot. Um, just sorting everything out. It's been brilliant. Uh, productive day as we call it and I love a productive day. Yes, I've had quite a few coffees. So I'm a little bit, you know. Anyway, I just got a parcel. I don't, oh, I've left my phone. Where's my phone? I don't know where my phone is. I was going to show you the colours. They were all like, um, anyway, I've got, I just received a parcel. Spoke a dokey hokey pokies for me bike. But I'm, I'm annoyed. They're not the colours I ordered. I ordered like a fairy, lilac y colours, like a lilac pink, lilac, lilac. It's not a lilac pink, is it? Pastel y colours. That's the one. Pink, purple white just like three different colors no i get these mad colors for me bike i'm gonna stand out like a kid in a playground aren't i on a like a five-year-old on a bike anyway i'm gonna go with it i'm gonna put them on i'm not gonna give up on those um i still haven't had my tea yet um it's three o'clock in the day now Got a bit of a headache today. It's been quite a few storms, uh, especially last night. It was all thundery and lightning, and today it looks like it's going to probably be the same again. Um, what has been happening? What else has been happening? I'm brilliant. I feel really, really good. Each day, I'm just feeling amazing. I'm trying to get on top of some comments today, although I, I have, you know, I doing jobs so it is being difficult i had so many lovely comments please forgive me if i haven't if i just give you a little heart or something then at least you know i've read it i can do that um i didn't weigh myself today but i did weigh myself yesterday and i was actually and i did it first thing in the morning before coffees I went butt naked. <laughs> not that uh, i do like to weigh myself butt naked first thing in the morning but anyway changing subject uh, anyway I was 92 and the last 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 time well the very f first time that I weighed myself two weeks ago 99 so I've lost seven pounds just from giving up alcohol really uh, I know I'm me healthy eating but I was 
I wasn't terribly eating a load of rubbish, so really nothing's changed. It's just the alcohol. Now, I'm I'm so proud of myself, but the healthy eating is going amazing. I'm looking forward to my wraps tonight. I'm actually going to have some protein, some ham. Um, there's one thing about meat now. I'm going to be honest. I watched something the other night, uh, like a documentary, and it did put me off meat. <laughs> But um, we got some lovely butcher's meat that needs using, so I've stuck a bit in my uh, wrap. I'm sure it's going to be lovely anyway, it looks lovely. Right, what's next? I've got to go and see to the washing, I suppose. <laughs> no, actually, let's go to the boot and put my spooky doki hookity pokies on, shall I? Shall I do that now? Oh, no, I'll do it when I get my bike out properly. Yeah. <laughs> I tell you, when we're driving down the road, they and they they're gonna go. It's gonna drive down bonkers. <laughs> and that's another day down. I've beat my nine-day record. Woohoo! Proud of myself. So these are only gonna be small little videos, vlogs. Um, if I'm gonna be doing them as as often as I can during the week, they're not gonna be anything too exciting. Just updates, really, and just whatever I'm doing that day. Right, we'll see you again, hopefully tomorrow, or if not the next day, and thank you for watching. Have a good night. Bye.